Scenes are an important concept in Descript. So right now, there's only one scene in this video. You can tell that from the top left. It's the scene thumbnail. So it shows me a little preview of what's inside of that scene. And to create a scene, this will make sense once I create it. You can see how I can use them. I click somewhere. So like, let's say right here at the end of the first sentence, I click right there into the transcript and I add a forward slash. And now you can see I have a second scene thumbnail as well as down here on the timeline. There's a little two right there. And what happens now is what I do to scene one won't affect scene two, or at least I can make some changes so that that's true. Like if I click current scene, whatever I do to this image is only gonna happen in this scene, not scene two. So for example, if I make it bigger to zoom in on that guy playing guitar, it's not gonna affect scene two. So it'll look like this if I hit play. So right there, that transition between the scenes, it zooms out back to its original frame. Scenes also divide up your project for other purposes other than just resizing the, the images in them. I can also, if I add something, like for example, if I click into here and I just expanded my timeline by, by clicking right there on the boundary and then raising it. So I have a little bit more room to see things. So if I click into scene one, I go over to media, oops, media, and I click on a GIF, for example, and I add something like this, I'll click on that. So because I was in scene one, it only fills it into that scene. It doesn't spill over into the next scene or the previous scene. It's just the scene that I was currently in. I think you get the idea. Scenes are how we divide up our project and you can be more granular about how you apply different effects. If you like this video, be sure to check out this one next.